How cool is that? You can get bloody emails on your phone these days. I'm just reading here, young Jessica from the Flow Hive people sent me a thing about my spring. That's kind of cool. So apparently I'm a bit of a dipshit, as everybody would know. I've put the two springs together, maybe. Hmm, I don't know about that, but anyway, we might have to go and have a look and see if the missing spring's actually on the box already. So come along and we'll go out there and have a look before the bees wake up. Or maybe they'll wake up and sting us, but who knows? We'll find out in a minute. Uh, the mystery of the missing spring. Blimey hell. <laughs> yeah, what do we got? So that's the one that didn't have the spring, wasn't it, in that bit? <laughs> it's not quite as riveting as an Agatha Christie's book, but anyway, we'll see if we can find this jolly spring. Shh, don't tell them we're here. These girls are a little grumpy. I don't know, they look like a bloody extra spring there to me. Hmm, oh, oh. What's that? 50 50 chance or something, isn't it? Oh, that's looking a bit more mysterious. I wonder how I managed that. Oh, look at that. See? As per normal, it's human error, not computer error after all. <laughs> God, oh gosh, tell you what. There's probably an android somewhere going, see, silly bloody human. <laughs> Blaming us. I was just thinking, is it a footnote or a dependency? Or we know when you used to put PS on letters, back in the day when people used to write letters to each other, apparently the PS actually standed for personal statement or personal correspondence like other than the official bit it was kind of a personal part at the end how crazy is that we don't do any of that crap on email at the end of an email i always wonder what the hell to put because it's like do you put cheers do you put yours faithfully <laughs> i'm not really sure what the hell you meant to put at the end of an email the amount that i send it's harmless but still it's rather interesting so if you get a very awkward response from the bush v-man when you email me don't get offended i really am just a little bit concerned as to what i'm supposed to put there <laughs> Anyway, sorry, I digress. Let's put this back together before the girls get really cranky. I wonder how we managed that. Well, it was 43 degrees in the shade that day, so it was a bit exciting. Trying to line up the holes with me blurry ass eyes is a bit of a challenge. Anyway, I figure while we're here full arsing around, we'll pull it apart and have a bit of a look in a minute. But we'll put this back together first. Oh, here we go. This is the, this is the missing spring. <laughs> The lid off, MJ. I'm not actually brave enough to pull this thing apart without a suit on, so if the girls were the ones over there, we probably could, but these ladies are just a little bit touchy. They've got themselves a bit excited. So that's the cool little hole, obviously, that the spring's meant to sit in. Come on, Mr. Eyes, you can do it. Right, here we go. That's more like it. So you've got a bit of tension, but you've also got to be able to move it. Let's see if we've got anybody having any breakfast. There's not a lot of activity up there yet. And there's a bit of stuff going on. So we might we might go and put our suits on and have a bit of a poke around in here. What do you think? Light up the smoker and have a bit of a play. As a footnote though, I might mention the fact that in the original excitement of placing this beehive out here, I actually had it facing that way, which in the afternoon sun's up here. And when it was 43 degrees, the ladies were coming back in and landing on the bloomin' landing board. And they were getting, because it's just a wood base, they were getting quite hot and getting fried. So I ended up turning it around. I put a bit of a shade over it on that particular day. And then I just moved it around and I've actually faced it into the morning sun now. So depending on where you live, I mean, I guess if you live in America and it's minus three, I think at the moment, it's not going to be a problem. But... If you're in Oz or in somewhere crazy like Mexico maybe, it was bloody hot there, don't face it into the afternoon sun so as the girls don't have to actually land on a hot landing board. Just the other, away from there or put some shade over them. Or maybe you could paint the landing board white, but I don't know. But anyway, that's just a little bit of a side note. They actually are on these flowers. I was even thinking that that was a waste of time. We've planted these jolly things and the girls didn't like any of them. Because they said salvias were supposed to be really good for bees and I was getting all sad. But here they are, check them out, they're going for it. Oh, oh that might be okay, you might not get cut down yet, bush. That's a bit sad, isn't it? Thinking a bloke's going to cut down bushes just because the girls aren't getting something out of it. Don't tell the missus that he might destroy the backyard. <laughs> anyway, we'll give him a little puff. And we'll have to take our lid off. He 
you don't know what's happening in here. Well, there's a couple, hang on, there's a little bit of stuff going on. We'll have a look and see whether they've decided to come up into this flow nest. Is it? No, it's not flow super, I shouldn't call it a nest, should I? I think you want to be a little bit careful lifting these out with your hive tool. I'm going to put too much pressure on them. I don't think they're meant to be pulled out too often. But we're just going to have a bit of a peekaboo. But I don't think too much is going on. Oh, thinking about it, they're starting to, they have been playing around here and they're doing a little bit of stuff. But I'll tell you what I reckon. I don't know if it's... It doesn't say in the instruction booklet. But I'm going to put a little bit of... Get a little bit of wax and roll on there. A little bit of beeswax. Melt that up. I think we'll only do two because I'm not really sure whether I'm meant to do that. But if with the plastic foundation, that's what you do. You roll your beeswax on there and get them encouraged. Otherwise, they don't like it. I'm sure if you had a really mega crazy nectar flow happening, you wouldn't have to worry about it because they're just like they are trying to get here. So you do new. Apologies, Mr. Flow Hive, if I screw up your fancy design. So before we get too excited, though, I'm just going to have a look in the um, brood box to make sure they actually got a bit of nectar flow going on, otherwise it's <laughs> going to be a pointless exercise, isn't it? So, oh, get ready for some excitement. Well, they haven't stuck it together too hard. They're not happy ladies. Oh, it's all right, chicky babes. Don't get excited. <laughs> now, just as a footnote, <laughs> if you've got a bee box in your backyard and you've um, got a young puppy, don't have the puppy in the yard with you whilst you're in your bee box because I have my little lovely little new Porsche, our little new boxer puppy. She was out here, well she was in the backyard and somehow or other she decided to come over and see what dad was doing with the bee box and she stuck her nose in the bloomin' opening and she ran off covered in bees. She had I don't know how many, 20, 30 stings and so we we're in there, oh my god and so we we're there I had to stop what I was doing and scrape the bees off her and scrape the stings off her nose and off her legs and goodness knows where else. Anyway, and I get her back into the room and we all sat there for a little bit calming down and she goes up to her bed and she went plop and I thought that does not look promising. So I sat there for, I don't know, 20 minutes and I thought this is not a good idea. So off to the vet we go, hospital visit for the dog. That was the whole day, 500 bucks down the drain, and well not down the drain but out of rescue, dog rescue. So. Put your puppy somewhere other than where your beehive is if you're playing with them. Especially if they're toey. Ooh, they like the bit of poop, yes. Hello, everybody. Yes, yes, you are such shitty people. You're getting a new queen, you do realise that, don't you? Queen ladies. Queen people hadn't had a bad year, you would be requeened already. Let's have a look what's going on. See if we can leave up a brood box for a bit. So they're getting a bit of fresh nectar here, and there's still plenty there that they could store in, so that's probably what's going on. There's a sealed honey there. Heaps are empty. <laughs> so I've got all enthusiastic after going to visit the young Kerry over there at Renmark, and I thought I'd get my own frame holder, because she reckons they're a cool idea. So let's have a go, and we'll pop that on there. Come on, these girls are not impressed. We can hang our frame on there. This is why poor little Porsche got stunk, because these girls are a bit shitty. Try a bit more apart here and see if we can't find it, what, the, what the Queen's up to before we get too excited about the other part of the project. They're not doing real flash as far as neck is concerned because they're probably breathing their asses off. You can see the larvae here. See, she's actually going really quite well. She's got the older larvae here and going down in, in this mainly eggs and she's got this beautiful pattern going on. So they're actually building up some strength. Just wander along a bit in here. There's obviously a Good active queen in here because she's got those nice young eggs and young larvae. No, this is actually a plastic one. This is the joys of plastic foundation. See how it's all work wobbled in? And they've, she's, they've planted, they've actually laid a nice brood pattern on this side and they can't even use that side. So I think, being that that foundation's looking a bit iffy, we'll done and put that to the edge. So I'm going to put it back in the box over this side, so the girls can hatch out all that beautiful brood, and then we'll come back in a, probably another three weeks, and then they will have moved their brood to the middle, and then we'll replace this. Of course, if you had that, you can pop that up in your super if you got that. Of course, we've got 
<laughs> We've got the flow frame, so I don't think we can put it in at super. That would be rather fun, wouldn't it? That's why there's not a lot of nectar, because they're breeding up like crazy. So they've obviously found a bit of nice flow and thought, wow, we better get some more workforce on the deal. Her Majesty's been laying her butt off. So this is that frame that was in there with the brood, bowed a bit with that bit of plastic. So I'm going to put that plastic part against the side of the box. I'm not over keen on plastic foundation in your brood box, but as far as putting honey on them, they're, they're all right for that. I mean, but anyway, we're going to put that to the outside edge. Put this one in here. It's not necessarily ideal. When you're normally putting your brood back together, you want to put them back how they came out. But we want to actually get rid of that frame, so we want to take that out of service. So that's a bit of a trick for you if you want to get organised. There's not a lot of flow going on, but there is a lot of young bees being made. So I reckon, just for the entertainment, so just to appease my interest, we're going to put a little bit of wax on two of these frames anyway, and just to see if that'll encourage the lasses to put a bit of nectar upstairs. I mean, they've still got a bit of a bit of room down here, so it might not actually make any difference. But hell, anyway, we'll see. Oh, take two of these. Pop that back on there for a minute while we're away. Of course, the only problem to my best laid plan is that the wife's got an RDO today. We've got to steal some bloody of her wax very quietly. So everybody, keep it on the down low. Dangerous. <laughs> well, I've got myself a little frying pan, which is a little bit dodgy. It's a bit of a crap frying pan. Don't do this in your mother's or your wife's good frying pan, or you're gonna just go straight to damnation. We'll just get a little bit of heat happening. Let me just get that a bit of warmth. We'll stick this in here, and we'll go and find our frames while that gets melted. Hopefully, we don't have a burst into flames. <laughs> Otherwise, that'll be crap. <laughs> straight to jail. Fancy little roller. <laughs> I guess that'll work. Anyway, we'll find out in a minute. Got me wax bit melted up. So we'll dip that in our little fry pan worth of wax. Shit, I might let that cool down a little bit. It might melt me foam off. <laughs> That'd be great, wouldn't it? Then I'd have wax foam. <laughs> what would that? That wouldn't be good, would it? We I mean, don't want to get too carried away. You just want a bit of wax on there to. Make the girls feel like they're at home. Now that I've stolen this much wax, I better use some of it. The boss will be going, what the bloody hell happened? That's going to be next Sunday when we're trying to make some cosmetic stuff. And she'll say, I swear there was fucking 17 blocks here. <laughs> like, oh, I don't know, darling. Maybe they ran off. <laughs> when to where they went? Mind you, by then she's probably seen this episode. She'll know where they went. We had them. Um, Bloomin' Susie Quattro come here for a bloomin' rock concert here not so long ago. And I was thinking, all oh, the old rockers are out rock. Is that, is that because, like, you know, all the old rock stars are out doing tours? Is that because of jolly the internet and they don't sell any records anymore? Or what's the story? I don't know, because, I mean, hell, you'd be flat out, wouldn't you, doing a tour around the world at 70-something? I'm flat out doing a tour around my backyard at 50, so I'd be bugging how they get on. Turned out to be a lovely day. It was a bit bloomin' brisk this morning. All the little lasses are out having a bit of a dance. Good girls. Now yeah, we're not going to bother about smoking them too much. Well, we'll find out in a minute whether we should. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Apparently, my esteemed assistant said. Assisted. Assistant. I'm your assistant. Ah, well, okay. Apparently, my clever cameraman decided that we can't do a genuine experiment by putting them both in the middle so we're going to put one in the middle and one to the side but i've just thought of something we should probably go and get a black texture and put a dot on it so we know what's what but anyway maybe we will now we just bloody make sure we put it the right way around otherwise we won't get the honey out if we get some in there so we'll put that one there so that's number three number three from the left and we'll put this one on the edge now i'm just going to go and get a texture and put a black dot on them both. 
Oh, actually, you know what? That's a dumb idea. That's a bit silly. Why don't we put it by the window? Now, these cool blooming hives got a window in it. Let's do that. Let's put it on the other side. I will push them across there. Push them all across. Make sure we got them lined up so they don't get crazy. And then pop it by the window. Look at that. And we'll be able to observe the chicks even better. We can open our little window and go, hello, what's going on? Without actually having to worry too much. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Get out of there, little door. Probably wasn't the best idea to leave that there on the ground. You don't want to step on it after all. It might not be a good option. So perhaps we'll come up with a better option than that. Anyway, now we've got our u boot spring loaded little bit. Pop it back together. So that'll be interesting to see whether the ladies favour the ones that we put a little bit of wax on. That's what we do with the plastic foundation anyway. We put a little bit of wax so it makes them build a bit easier. And Hell, who knows? Anyway, I'm sure I'm going to get some feedback and find out whether it was a good, bad or indifferent idea. Anyway, thanks all you guys for coming along for this trip with us. Thanks for you Patreon supporters, that's bloody awesome. And your subscribers and the people that just share us and like us and pass us around between everybody else. It's just absolutely awesome. And I'm glad you're enjoying the trip because we're enjoying making the show for you. Catch you soon.